Partners in the organization of Island Champs 2024 came together recently for a review of the event and also the execution of the Inter-District Primary Schools Athletic Meet, which followed. Acting Deputy Chief Education Officer Cyrus Sipal was generally encouraged by the outcome of the events. I must say this year we had a very successful sports tournament, okay, with more specifically Island Champs and Inter-District Primary School Sports Meet. The Island Champ was indeed a great success. For the first time having it on a Sunday afternoon where we had the spectators, we had the parents, we had the corporate citizens and everybody staying at home, um, relaxing on a Sunday afternoon and watching the meet. Um, the level and the coordination of the meet, that was very high also. The, the officials we had facilitating the event, that was well done. The inter-district primary meet, that too was a great success. We started almost on time, the events um, went very well, the points standing were being given, the medals were being presented on the same day, and at the end of the day, we were able to announce the winning district, which was District 8. Meet director Patrick Matre felt it was critical that participating schools register the athletes by the recommended time period. Part of the, the issues that we had this year would have been um, with the registration. The registration seemed to be a perennial issue. Um, persons are not adhering to the deadline, and I think the management has to be more assertive in terms of deadline. Um, because once you don't meet the deadlines, that means at the back end you have a lot of other issues that you have to do. So, so registration has to be key. I think there is a need for the ministry as an organization, um, just of sports and education, to have a discussion with all the schools who do not have the proper prerequisites for registration to ensure that that is done way in advance. I think if we have done, if we do that, then most of our problems will be solved because. Um, once you have a, a, a registration issue, um, you will always have issues on the in question. So once that's taken care of, then it means that we will move forward. Acting Director of Sports, Clivus Jules, supported Matre's call for a more timely registration process. One of the key things that set us off in terms of the, the actual running of the event was the registration. A lot of the, the, um, the, the participants, the schools in, did not register in a timely fashion and that put us under pressure in terms of the scheduling of the, the event. Um, we also had some issues with accreditation as well that, that provided us with some security challenges. But um, nevertheless, we were able to overcome that during the event itself and um, we were able to put together a good event. But those key things. Um, also, I must make a point. Um, Especially for the inter-district primary, we're using the, the Sufre uh, Mini Stadium and uh, there's a synthetic surface and at the primary school level, a lot of these children do not have track shoes. Um, some of it because of um, availability, so the sizes, you don't get a lot of um, the providers bringing those small track shoes here and some of the, the, the children where they're coming from, their socioeconomic background does not provide for that. So next year we've um, really made some attempts, to, uh, we're looking towards in fact putting in things in place to, um, to curtail that particular um, issue. Principal of St. Mary's College and President of the Secondary Schools Principal Association, Neil Fontenelle, gave his perspective on Island Champs. One of the more important, I think, more salient outcomes of the meeting was to broaden, broaden the pool of officials. Uh, to include uh, more PE teachers and so on, and also in terms of the scoring, to have a, a, a large number of people being trained to use the scoring system so that we don't have that type of backlog and at least the schools can go into the finals knowing where they stand and what points they have and so on. Feedback from this review meeting will form the basis for the continued improvements for staging Island Champs and the inter-district primary schools meet. From the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports, I'm Ryan O'Brien.